Hi, everybody. Welcome to Mark's Backyard Birds. It's the winter bird feeding season time of the year, and I thought it would be good to give you my thoughts on five essential bird feeders to have at a bird feeder station for successful winter bird feeding. Uh, and, you know, some of these have a couple of variations to them, but uh, they, they, they can, they, it's mainly five groups, you know, and, and your, your choice of a, a feeder of each type, because most people's goal when feeding birds is to attract as many different kind of birds to their yard as possible and to, to entertain them if they can. I know there are some exceptions we don't want with like starlings and, and house sparrows, but for the, the rule for most of us is, yeah, I, I want to appeal to as many different birds and we know through seed and I've done lots of videos on seed they're, they're, that'll help you in attracting certain birds but the one thing that people forget about is not all birds feed the same way you know some birds are perching birds that like to cling on to hold on to perches some and on the vegetation when they're out in the wild feeding there are those that prefer flat surfaces that feed on the ground or or they feel uh, you know, better with their feet flat. Uh, there's those that like to cling uh, the, to feed. Um, and, and so what I thought I would do is run through some of those for you, give you some examples. And um, I think the place I always like to start is when you think about, uh, it, it, when the, the, word, the word bird feeder comes to mind, what's the image uh, that pops in your head? And that is typically a hopper feeder. Uh, and the reason I like them, they're typically the workhorse of your uh, bird feeder station, a hopper feeder or an open, uh, even possibly an open tray feeder. Uh, the reason why they're such a good effective feeder is because you can feed any kind of seed in it. Well, almost any kind of seed in it, but most kinds of seed in it and most seed mixes and uh, thing, uh, seed mixes that have fruit in it, if you want to, which will tend to clog up smaller hold feeders. Um, uh, in shell peanuts, which can, or, you know, can't feed, feed through some types of feeders, can all be put um, typically into a hopper or open tray feeder. So I am going to uh, play a quick video of what I consider my favorite uh, hopper feeder on the market. And um, this, this, uh, the reason I like this so much is uh, it because of the size tray that it has, plus it has the hopper that holds seed to dispense it. Um, and I'm going to play it. I don't know if I can talk through it. I'm going to try to uh, do that. But uh, here it is. This is uh, uh, Hilltop Specialties. Uh, it's a wonderful, this is the mini mag. Uh, and it has a big open tray. And it has a, a, a good roof extension that helps protect the seed that's in the tray. But as that cardinal shows you, in that video of her feeding on that tray, uh, cardinals like flat surfaces. They they do like uh, a, a, where they can put their feet flat on the ground. They're you know, their natural ground feeders, but they will land on a, a feeder that has a big enough tray to it. And I think that one, uh, that feeder, one, a couple of reasons why it's my favorite is it is made of recycled materials, which is obviously good for the environment. Uh, but the the size of it and it's easy to clean and it, it is the workhorse of a bird feeder station. And then there's missed many variations on that feeder, but a good hopper feeder is a, is a, is a place to start it, it, with a bird feeder station for sure. You should have one as a centerpiece. Now here's a couple of different uh, varieties. This is an, uh, an older uh, feeder that is both a huge tray, but it has a hopper in the middle of it. So it has a combination of uh, good, tray uh, size and fit. I know that we, I had this feeder at my house years ago. Uh, I don't know that the company even makes it anymore, unfortunately, but I think we counted 22 cardinals on that open tray one winter uh, whenever it was snowing and they were gathered up on this tray. It was really great. Uh, and the hopper, you know, dispenses out into there. So that's a, a good variety. Um, this one, uh, same, same feeder, same scenario, just a, a, a different picture of it was great. So, a good centerpiece uh, a, a feeder like that is number one on the list. But number two, uh, which is uh, if you've watched my favorite starter bird feeder video, this is the, the feeder that I, I recommend the most. And that is a, we call it a multi-seed tube feeder. Um, the tube feeder that has the bigger round holes in it that uh, almost any seed can feed through, sunflower, safflower, most of the seed mixes. 
But when I, if you've watched that video before, you know that I talk about this feeder that I want a tray attached to it uh, because the tray that of course will catch waste seed and, and, and extra seed that falls out. But there are those feeders and Cardinals are a prime example. Uh, while they don't much like sitting on the perches and, and reaching because they're so big, you know, these house finches and, and the bluebirds are actually coming to this really well, but look how many bluebirds are in the tray because that tray is easier for a lot of birds to negotiate. Uh, so a tray added to a multi-seed two feeder is a really, really good idea. So that makes number two on my list, uh, a multi-seed two feeder with a tray. And I also like to put a hood on them as well to, to help uh, keep them uh, the seed dry in there. This picture, the hood's above the picture, but I love this picture because of all the bluebirds in it and the, and the couple of house finches up on there. So uh, that's number two on my list. Well, one of America's favorite songbirds, of course, is number the number three feeder on the list, and that's the American goldfinch. Uh, those are the two birds on the bottom, and the bird up on the upper perch, the middle perch there is a, a common red pole. But the, the man who invented the finch feeder did it because he felt sorry for the finches at his bird feeder station because they're they're pretty docile birds and they get pushed around pretty easily by bigger birds and so he felt sorry for them so he created the tube feeder uh, and with their very small openings for smaller seed which goldfinches really like uh, and it keeps the big for the most part it keeps the bigger birds from feeding from a finch feeder so number three on my list is a good finch tube and there's many varieties of those on the market there are uh you know they're the ones with the spiral perches that go around but this is an aspect tube feeder has the easy clean base which is wonderful because you can flip it upside down take the base off and fill your seed in from the bottom so it is, and put your and turn it back over and you're constantly rotating your seed which of course keeps it fresher so you know the hopper feeder the multi suit multi seed tube feeder with a tray and uh the finch feeder are, are my the top three now I, I, what can be considered a variation on that are, is the a, a peanut mesh feeder or mesh feeder and this takes care of or caters to the clingers and here are two prime examples of clingers uh, the white breasted nut hatch on the left and the downy woodpecker on the right they they're they're built for clinging on to vegetation, tree trunks and tree limbs. And, um, and the, the, this peanuts are a very high, high reward, energy reward. You heard me say that many times, uh, high in oil, high in fat, or, or, it, or they convert it quickly to body heat for them. And you can see that the, the, the downy woodpecker has a piece of that peanut in his bill. They, and this type of feeder, which is wonderful because the, the, the peanuts don't come spilling out onto the ground. Um, uh, and they have to pack to, to break them up into small pieces. Peanuts are more expensive. So if you put those in one of those multi-seed feeders with a round hole or in a hopper feeder, they're going to wipe you out. I mean, they're going to go through those peanuts like crazy. Uh, and this is a way to provide peanuts for them, but do it in a way that's a little more cost efficient for you. So peanut feeders come in at number four on my list as, as, as essential uh, bird feeders uh, in, for your winter bird feeding station. Now, again, another variety of, of course, the clingers are is suet cages. And suet cages uh, are, are done many ways. There are many styles, but uh, if you're gonna feed suet cakes or suet balls or uh, suet plugs, uh, we have videos on that uh, and how to, uh, the, how to fill those suet plug feeders and things like that. There's a lot of, lot of those on the web, on the YouTube channel here, but um, this this is a regular suet cage feeder with, that the birds cling to it. So another bird that, uh, another variation on a clinging feeder. So you might call this 4B maybe uh, in the in the numbers of, uh, of the type feeder. So we're taking care of, you know, of our clingers, our, our flat surface birds, you know, the smaller birds who can't get into other feeder stations. And so uh, the one feeder that people forget about all the time, and it, 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 I know this because I've been doing it all these years, but they forget about the ground. The ground is a great bird feeder, um, especially for birds like the junco. Uh, the junco, you know, it's not, it, it occasionally gets up into feeders, and it can, especially if it's a flat surface feeder, 
But for the most part, they feel safer on the ground. And this is true of all those native sparrows, like white crown sparrows, white throated sparrows, hair sparrows. There's so many of them. And I just did a presentation on those just, just recently. So um, they, these ground feeding birds need some seed on the ground. And I, I like to pick a good bear patch uh, and, and put that on the ground for them. So they, they love feeding on those small ground patches, uh, at, at bare patches of dirt. And, uh, and so the, the excess that falls to the ground and here's a quick video. And I know there's some noise in the background, but, uh, it, it's just a short video to show. So don't forget the ground. So we have our hopper feeder oak trays that have those open platform surfaces that you can put all kinds of seeds, sunflower, safflower, uh, in shell peanuts, just uh, any mixes in the workhorse of your feeder station. Number two is the, the tube feeder uh, with a multi seed and a tray on it. Wonderful uh, for especially those birds that like to perch, you know, chickadees and goldfinches, things like that as well. But then we have the, the finch feeders with the smaller openings that the goldfinches can get to without being bullied around. And then the clingers, the woodpeckers uh, on the peanut feeders and the, and the swift feeders. And then again, don't forget the ground. The ground is an essential bird feeder. So if you want to put a tray on the ground, there's ground trays that go on the ground, things like that. But don't forget those birds that like to feed down there as well. So. There are my five essential uh, feeding, feeding styles, feeders, if you will, uh, for the winter bird feeding season. So it's a good idea for a program. Thank that. That, uh, you know, I'm uh, a happy holidays to everybody. We're getting getting close to uh, the end of the year. I'm going to be taking a couple of uh, days off here, and then I'll be back on live uh, on the, the Thursday after Christmas. So uh, we'll see you live on there. Have your questions ready. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Until then, come on, let's talk birds.